I don't have a bread maker's touch, but let's make some focaccia. So I'm following this recipe that I found from one of my favorite focaccia bakers online, Lacey Bakes. This is 500 grams of bread flour. I have the rest of my ingredients ready to go, so I'm gonna grab another bowl. I'm adding in 420 milliliters of warm water. Next, six grams of instant yeast. Um, this is basically about one packet of like the dry active yeast. One tablespoon of honey. I've learned from my chronicles in the past that the honey is going to help make sure that the yeast is activated. One tablespoon of olive oil. There we go. I'm gonna whisk this together and pray that the yeast doesn't die. That looks good so far. Now I'm gonna add in the flour and uh, little by little incorporate that to the wet mix. I feel like that looks good. Promising. Now I need to cover this. So I'm gonna cover this with a ditch towel and wait 15 minutes. It's time to see if anything's happening. It's hard to tell, but it's time to do the first fold. Stretch and fold, stretch, fold. You know what? It's feeling like a dough. It's feeling like a dough already. It's time for another nap, another 15 minutes. It is time for another fold. Let's see. Okay, we are seeing growth. Look at her. I'm going in for more folds. Oh my God, the dough is already feeling really floofy. I'm so excited. Okay, now we are going to cover and it's gonna go for the longest time, an hour and 15 minutes. I'm so excited. It's been an hour and 15. Let's see. It grew, it grew so big. Look, it's almost at the top of the bowl. Now it's time to put it into the pan. So this is roughly a nine by 13. A little bit of olive oil on the bottom here. Now she said to add three tablespoons of oil. Say less, I love olive oil. The more the merrier. Pour this onto here. Oh my God, look how jiggly it is. Okay. Now I'm gonna do a burrito fold. So one, two, like an envelope. Put it this way and then flip it tuck side down. Okay, I'm just cover this. I'm gonna let it rest an hour and a half. It's time to bake, okay. Look how ginormous this is. Bend it out just a little bit more to get to all of those corners. So the olive oil right on top. Now's the fun part. Let's make all those beautiful divots. I have some olives, so I'm gonna add just olives all around. Some rosemary. Last but not least, we need some flaky salt all over the top. See you in 20 minutes. Look at her. Holy cannoli. Looks so good. This little peek at the bottom. Perfection. Nice golden brown. Wow. Hot, hot, hot. I made focaccia. Oh my God.